<laughs> and um, I have, you know, I, I never had anybody. I never had one of those teachers. You know those movies like uh, Remember the Titans or or Lean on Me or any, or, you know, any of these movies like that where there's like all these really inspirational teachers who who guided you through, who believed in you, who looked at you and said, I believe in you, and they guided you through everything, and they're like, they showed you how to not be racist or how to, you know, stop smoking crack. I mean, they, they, you know, <laughs> who helped do all that stuff, but I never had one, never, not one, no substitute teacher even kind of looked at me and said, hey man, you're doing a really good job, you know, I never <laughs> had that, I never had a coach who said, yes, you can do it, go, you know, I never had any of those people, I never had any, you know, great mentors in my life, and uh, I think that a lot of people let that drag them down because they never had they had an absent parent or they had a parent who didn't love them correctly or a parent who treated their mom poorly or touched them wrong and um i was blessed with people like that in my life you're saying how, how does that work <laughs> why would you want monsters like that in your life but it's great because they showed me what not to do how not to live and as a little kid, I saw these things. I saw the opportunities and the energy and the love that they wasted. And I said, wow, I don't want to be like that. You know, I remember being a little kid. And you know when you go up to your friends and be like, yo, Friday night, man, there's going to be a scary movie on TV. Let's go all get some popcorn. And you bring over your pillows and we'll all come over and we'll all hang out and we'll talk about boys and we'll prank people and we'll get on the <laughs> And you get everybody together and you'd be like, yeah, let's go, we'll hang out in my basement. My mom's going to rent us some DVDs and we're going to watch some movies on the band or whatever. And you get all your friends together and you go downstairs and you walk in and you see your father laying on the couch in a puddle of his own urine. Like, how does, as a little kid, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with that when you walk in and everybody's got like a pillow over their shoulder and you have to be like, yo, you guys have to go back home. You have to call your parents because my father has passed out drunk on the couch where we'd be, we'd be sleeping. You know? That's hard for a little kid to handle. That's real hard. Hey, Mom, why um, did Dad crash into the garage again? Well, he's got a problem with alcohol. Well, I don't understand. Everybody else drinks. Well, he can't. He doesn't know how to handle it. And it causes him to do stupid things like that. It magnifies all of his bad behaviors. And I'm glad my father was an alcoholic. I'm glad that he was a coke addict. You know, I was glad that he, that there was 